wanted to take a second to show you guys some of the kits I put together. Uh, this is a Solark 12K and two 5K WB lithium batteries. These are the ARC batteries uh, from uh, the guys up in the Amish country. They developed their own UL battery and I'm excited to start trying this one out on customers. And it's just really cool to see 10KW and a all-in-one inverter on one single pallet. It's a nice thing you get in the mail. So this is the first of the ARC batteries I've seen. And it comes back very similar to the Fortress Evolts. I'm excited about this battery because it's got the built-in circuit breakers and it's got terminals on both sides. So it's set up to be paralleled. Wow. I'm, I couldn't help myself. We had to open it up. But I want to show you guys some of the reasons that I'm excited about this battery. It's got a nice little screen on it, which is something that you want to have. It's got terminals with covers on the front circuit breaker. But it's also got terminals with covers on the back, circuit breaker, handles on both sides, and it's got this nice little stand so you can set it upright and it can sit. So I really feel like this ARC battery is going to give Fortress and Simplify and some of these other guys a run for their money because um, it's it's... It, it was developed by these Amish guys that I know for a fact they've got over 800 of these in off-grid applications and I know that they know what they're doing and uh, it's just got a lot of the features that we want as far as the ability to parallel it's, a, it's got a replaceable BMS so it's a way that we can get around that fear of getting EMP uh, you know getting the, the BMS destroyed by an EMP we could keep a replaceable BMS and it's relatively easy to replace. It's got handles built onto it. You can tell that a, an installer designed this. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be getting two of these pretty soon here. Now he's more dangerous than I am. Wow, look at the screen. 50.1 volts. I don't know if you guys can see that, it beeped. It's got a nice little display on there. Wow, it shows amp, so amp draw. That's plenty nice screen. Check out this new lithium battery, dude. There's the wood carver. What do you got on it? 52.66. 52.66. What a cool battery. Turn it back off before you get on the road. They also give you a bunch of good hardware. So, and that's some heavy duty stuff. So, so far I'm super impressed. Um, we'll see what we got. I'm going to be getting one of these soon. I'm getting excited now. And then here's the rest of the uh, stuff the guy needs. I got the snap and rack junction box, a couple of rail spices, some DIN rail uh, pieces for the DIN rail, a little piece of DIN rail to go in the snap and rack junction box. This is the snap and rack junction box, by the way. So you want some DIN rail, some cord grips. Those, that's where your cords would go in. And, uh, no, you? Oh, no, I'm good. And then here's that snap and rack junction box that goes on the... Uh, and here's that uh, snap and rack junction box that goes right on the rails. And um, also got his, uh, his mounting clips for a snap and rack. This is a cool way to do your roof. This is a Rooftech uh, pad, a Rooftech Mini. So with a Rooftech Mini, you can just put your Rooftech Mini in. And if you do uh, once, if you hit the stud, you can just do the middle holes. If you can't hit the stud, you've got to hit all the holes around the periphery so you gotta hit that hole that hole that hole and that hole and then the top and then once you get that on there you can take your l foot and you can just slide your l foot in so there's that 516 18 bolt it goes right into the track of the mini or an m8 bolt you can go into the top and that's a foot that any anybody can install and of course this is the uh, snap and rack l foot and these are the screws of the RT Mini. 
really aggressive stainless steel, kind of like a roof screw, but it's got th threaded all the way.